Hey guys, let's knit leg warmers. Are you in? Leave me a note down below if you're in. Let's jump right in and get started. We have a skein of 460 yards of any self-striping sock yarn. I happen to be using Freckled Whimsies Advent for the year. I have some undyed sock yarn. I have size six double pointed needles. And then I have a stitch marker, a tape measure, a darning needle, and a pair of scissors. Okay, the first thing that we'll do is we'll go ahead and take our skein of the self-striping sock yarn and we'll split it into two balls. So we can do one ball for each leg warmer. I've already done that. So I have one ball of the self-striping sock yarn and then I have some of the undyed sock yarn. And we're gonna go ahead and do a cast on. We're going to do 72 stitches. We're using our size six needles. And first of all, we're going to go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and get enough yarn out to do my cast on. I'm gonna go ahead and do a slip stitch. And then go ahead and we're going to loosely cast this on with a long tail cast on. So we'll be doing 18 on each of four needles. And then to go to the next needle, we just cast it on just like this, just right up against that other needle. And then we do our the rest of our 17 cast on on this needle. And then we'll pick up our next needle. And remember to loosely cast on or else the edge of your leg warmer will be kind of tight and you won't be able to get it over your ankle very well. So just loosely cast it on. I'm just going to double check to see that I have 18 on each needle. So, yep. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is just make sure that we have all of the stitches with this little bump on the bottom. So we have them set up in a square and nothing's twisted. So that looks good to me. I'm going to go ahead and pick up my fifth needle. And start knitting. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the yarn around. I'm grabbing both the tail 
that uh, the tail that's not attached to the balls of yarn and the yarn that's attached to the balls of yarn. I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, for just a couple of stitches so that I can weave in the ends uh, with the first few stitches as well. I'm going to go ahead and do two knit stitches. Those are pretty bulky. And then I'm going to move the yarn to the front to do two purl stitches. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and, so I just did four stitches, so two knits, two purls. I'm going to go ahead and find the tails and drop them. So these are the tails, they're not attached to anything. I'm going to go ahead and drop those and then just keep knitting with the yarn attached to the balls. So I'm just going to do knit two, purl two, all the way around. Moving yarn to the front to do two purls. Moving the yarn to the back to do two knits. Okay, I finished the first side of two knits, two purls, and I just continue on to the next needle. This is two knits that I just finished on the end of this needle. So I'm gonna go ahead and do two purls on the beginning of the next needle, and so on all the way around until I meet back up with my first needle. Okay, I'll meet back up with you when I get to the beginning. We are back and I've made a few uh, rounds with my ribbing. And I'm just going to continue. This is what it looks like. I just wanted to give you, to show you what it looks like so far. Looks like that. I'm going to just continue for the rest of the cuff until I get to here. Let me show you on the second one. So this is what it looks like. I have my beginning color knit and then I'm going to continue to knit six stripes on this particular one but different sock yarn has a different um, width of the stripe so I'll just go ahead and measure it and it is until we get two and a half inches of this ribbing pattern for the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and continue that and I will catch back up with you when I get the cuff knit of the leg warmer. Okay, so now that we're back and we have knit our two by two rib, I'm going to just go ahead and continue knitting for just a bit longer. So what I'm trying to do is get to the end of this color because I'm working on my second leg warmer and at the end of this color is when I switch to the knitting. And you can pick arbitrarily any point um, at the end of your cuff. However many um, colors that you want or it can be the length that you want. I'll go ahead and measure mine when I get to the end of the dark blue. Okay, I've changed to my next color just by continuing to knit on. 
So this is the other leg warmer that I was working on and I wanted to just keep them so that they matched. So I was doing the exact same thing. So I knit from the uh, this darker red color to the dark blue. Let me go ahead and get out my tape measure and I'll give you the length that I knit that which is uh, like two and a quarter, just a little over two and a quarter inches. But you could knit it longer or shorter, whatever you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and place a stitch marker just so I know where I began the round. And I'm going to start um, at this point where the color changed. I'm going to start just knitting in the round all the way around. So just knit every stitch. See that I dropped something right there. Just going to go back here. I had just picked up one strand, so I'm just going to go back, unknit it. Actually, it was a purl, and fix it. so that I get both strands of yarn. So there you go, and I put it back on. All right, but I'm going to continue knitting all the way around. Okay, so just like that, knitting all the way around. I'm going to knit from here all the way up to here. And I can see right here is where I made an increase. And I just added um, a stitch right there. And I'll go ahead and show you how to do that when I get there. But I'm going to go ahead and measure how many inches I knit. And you can go ahead and knit however long you'd like. I mean, because these are your leg warmers, they'll be the length that you want them to be. I knit all the way up nine inches, and then I'm going to go ahead and make four increases, and I'll show you how to do that when I get here. Go ahead and continue knitting, and I knit for nine inches until my increases. So I'll meet back up with you when I get a lot more knit on my leg warmer. <laughs> Okay, I am back and I have knit nine inches from, um, this is the cuff that will go around your ankle of the leg warmer. I've knit nine inches from this point right here to the top of here where I'm currently knitting. So I'll just go ahead and measure that so you can see. So we're at nine inches. What I'm going to go ahead and do next is I'm going to knit all the way across. So I have my little stitch marker reminding me at the beginning of the row. And I'm going to, once I've knit across this needle, I'm going to go ahead and knit into the front and into the back of this last stitch. So that's just increasing this one needle by one stitch. And I'm going to do the same thing on all of the needles. So I'm going to knit all the way across and then in the last stitch I'm going to knit two knit stitches into that stitch. I'll go ahead and show you how that looks. Okay, and then now we're at the last stitch. I'm going to knit just as usual, but then I'm going to go ahead and knit into the back on the back leg of that same stitch. Just don't slip it off. Okay, and then I'm going to do that on each of the needles. Make sure I don't lose any stitches. So I'm going to do it on this needle on the back and this needle. So I've increased four times, one on each of the needles. I will catch back up with you when I'm done. Okay, so this is the last stitch that I'm going to go ahead and knit into the front and the back, just to increase. Okay, and so the next thing that I'm going to go ahead and do 
is I'm going to continue knitting a few more inches. I'm going to go ahead and show you my other leg warmer and we are working on Um, four more inches but what I'm actually going to do is um, and the measurements aren't so specific you don't have to make it four more inches it's it's really whatever fits your leg and whatever you like and the reason we did those increases is so that around the um, the top part of your calf which is larger than your ankle I wanted to make it a little larger and then I'm going to put more ribbing on the top just so that um, that it stays up you know, it helps to hold the leg warmer up with more ribbing. So this could be four inches, it could be whatever. What I'm going to actually do is on mine, because it's self-striping, is I'm going to go ahead and knit until I get to this color so that it matches the other leg warmer because I made them so that they match. But you can do whatever you'd like. So I will catch back up with you when I knit the next four inches and I'm at the top and then I'll show you how to go into the next ribbing. Okay, I am back and I have knit four inches from where I made my increase stitch up to the top and I'm actually using the same exact colors for the second leg warmer. So when I hit this maroon color in the second leg warmer, when I hit that on this one, I'm going to start my ribbing portion for the top of the leg warmer. I knit all the way around until I hit my where my stitch marker was, and I'm going to start doing a rib again, and I'm going to do knit two, purl two, so I'm just going to knit two, and then bring the yarn to the front, and purl two. and bring the yarn to the back and knit two and bring the yarn to the front and purl two and I'm going to continue on knitting in this rib pattern until I get to the top of the leg warmer and I'll just show you in the second leg warmer so I'm going to go ahead and knit to this ribbing portion at purl two for another four inches. And I will check back with you when I get this four inches um, of rib knit on the leg warmer and then we'll talk about how to bind off. Okay, so now we are back and we're just gonna go ahead and bind off. I went ahead and knit all the way. I knit to the same last color stripe that I did on this other leg warmer. I'm going to go ahead and knit and knit and I'm going to do this really loosely so that the bind off isn't really tight so around your leg. And then I'm going to move the yarn to the front and I'm going to purl. And then bring the yarn over move the yarn to the front purl bring the yarn over and every time we do that it's just dropping the stitch it's binding it off so I'm going to go ahead and I am doing it in pattern so I'm knitting to bringing the yarn over knitting the second one bringing the yarn over, bringing the yarn to the front, purling to, I'm just moving it to the back while I'm doing the bind off. Bring the yarn back to the front, another purl.
Okay, and so that's the first needle that we bound off, and we just want to bind it off really loosely so there's still stretch in it. I'm going to go ahead and set that needle down. And then we'll just continue on to the next needle. Doing it in pattern, so these are still knit. These are the two purls, so these are the two knit, two purl, and I can see that by the knit stitches below and the purl bumps right there. So I'm knitting the knits and purling the purls and binding off as I go along. And I'll meet up with you when I'm done. Now I am back and I'm at my last few stitches and I am still binding off. Okay, and there's my last stitch. I'm going to make kind of a large loop, set my needles down, and grab my scissors, take a snip to the yarn, to both strands, go ahead and thread my tapestry needle and then bring my needle through the big loop. There we go. Now we'll go ahead and just weave in the end. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sew it. And then I'm going to go ahead and weave in the ends. Just on the inside. And I'm just weaving it in on the knitting portion. Just down one of the rows of ribbing. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and trim the end. There we go. Okay. That's exactly what I wanted. I love how they turned out. They are so cute. They match. Oh my gosh, and everything. I'm going to go ahead and measure from the puff portion all the way up to the top. The portion, this taller portion with the taller rib is the portion that goes on um, the thicker part of your calf because we made it just slightly bigger with those increases. So let me go ahead and measure it and give you one final measurement of the length of, of my set. And you can definitely make yours whatever length you'd like. Really mine are 19 and a half. And that's just so that you can see what mine ended up to be but you can make yours whatever length that you'd like. The bottom down by your ankle is just under six inches. And then the widest portion of the top with the extra four stitches is um, six inches or just over six inches. So I love how they turned out. I really love these leg warmers and how they turned out. Oh my gosh, they are such nice leg warmers. You definitely have to try these. If you love these leg warmers, you have to check out my other leg warmer video. I'll link it up here.